Hi everyone, it's Carl's here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm actually really excited to be unboxing this particular box right here. Actually, I'm always excited when I unbox a box because it's like Christmas all over again. Anyways, you guys, I'm having a special moment today. Anyways, you guys, if you haven't guessed by the, well, obviously it's a title. So you already know what you're going to be getting <laughs> in terms of the, what the video is about. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to know exactly what goodies I received in here, <laughs> obviously you already know by the title of the video. Hello. Then just keep on watching. Oh my God. I have no clue where I'm going with this video now. <sighs> All right, you guys. So without further ado, let's just get this box unopened unbox however you want to call it um i did purchase this directly from ColourPop cosmetics um during the release of this particular collection so obviously i don't really need to tell you exactly what's in here because you already know by the title of the video that's why you guys came anyways let me tell you right now i'm not sure why i'm smiling i think it's because this box right here is like i feel like a sense of childhood coming back to me not necessarily a childhood of mine because I was probably like in my 20s when this Lizzie McGuire the tv show slash the movie well the tv show and then eventually went into a movie right okay I was like in my 20s when it came out so for me it was like super cool I don't know why it was super cool maybe it's because I'm like yeah I'm 20 and all the other little kids like it so I'm pretty cool too right anyways I remember going to the theater to watch Lizzie McGuire what am I telling you I should just unbox this oh my god um to see the actual movie right and I f f kid you not I was like literally the only uh, I cannot open this the only adult in the theater who was ready to see that sucker like i had my tickets the first day it was released in the theater yes that was me i i think it's just hilarious anyways you guys right now the melody of the song is playing in my head how's it go have you ever wait well, clearly i'm not a single anyways you guys <laughs> it'll probably pop in my head a little later in the video <laughs> anyway so let's go ahead and unbox this together i always like their packaging their packaging is so freaking cute okay let me hold it this way for some other reason i'm struggling today all right here we go so here's the inside if you never received anything from color power cosmetics you get this pretty standard box um yeah the inside is pretty cool i really like it so here is the goodies disclaimer i did order the whole collection i was actually surprised that it did not sell out and maybe <laughs> there's probably a reason why it didn't sell out um because they keep releasing collections after collections every every single week there's a new collection every single week there's a new launch so you know what that means your money is literally gone so yeah so like the day later it was still available i'm like oh that's a bad launch and nothing sold out anyways you guys so let's go ahead and show you exactly what i received i mean I got a receipt. Let me take this sucker out because you don't need to know all my information. All right. So we got a card here. Pretty standard in terms of shipments. Um, they usually put this card in here. It just says thanks a latte. I think it's cute. So here's the inside. Oh, you want to see? Here, I'll show you. <gasps> Be careful, Carlos. You don't want to drop in anything. Okay. So. <laughs> Why? Well, I, I swear, I feel like a child right now, and it's super freaking cute. All right, so let's take out the first two items that I just grabbed, like right here, right? Okay. Um, let's see. So these are these are lip glosses. Okay, I'm not sure if you know, remember these particular. Um, I don't want to say these per se, but like in lip glosses in general, like this right here is completely nostalgia for me. Because I always saw little girls and, you know, long, young teens and um, other girls maybe in their 20s also always had like lip glosses like these. You could still get them like at Claire's, but I think for me it's super cute. So then we have these two right here. So let me show you them side by side. So we got four different shades. I don't know if there's any pigment. We'll definitely do some swatches for you. But they're Plumping Gloss Dual. This is also Plumping Gloss gloss dual this is in um the lighter one right here it says on the back is called liz lizzie and then marina marina miranda i just didn't want to come out <laughs> anyways you guys so then ethan craft and then cardo gardo gardo why well, always mess up his name oh my god i the names are not coming back to me i have not seen this tv show 
and the movie in forever. Anyway, so there is the back, back siding here, just in case you wanted to see it. I know it's kind of rude. I didn't show you. I, was, I guess I'm just so excited. Look, take a look one more time. Mm. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and swatched all four shades for you just so you can get a good look at them really quickly. Um, as you notice, there isn't really a lot of pigmentation versus what you saw in the bottles themselves. But again, this is basically more of a gloss. I wasn't really expecting a tint in terms of like a major payoff. So the first shade on the bottom down here, that one is Ethan Craft. The second one from the bottom, that is Gordo. Gordo, am I pronouncing that right? Oh my god, I'm tongue but butchering it. I know I am. The next shade on the top, that one is Lizzie. And the last one right on the top is Miranda. All right, you guys, so let's get into the goodies of box right here. So let's grab the next few items. So let me see. <laughs> Can you see? All right, let me grab these three right here because, again, I don't know which one is which right now. So we will find out. So we have a glitter gel. There we go. Okay, so then I will come back to that one because I believe I have two of them. Um, yep, I do. So here is the other one. This is also a glitter gel. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you the first name, but this one is called Get A Grip. And then the second one is called, let me take a look, it is Sing To Me Paolo. I hope I'll say please. That's the way I had to flip it away. I had to flip it to my side so I can see it. Anyways, all right, so the next item, okay, so this one is a lip beat scrub or a lip scrub, and this is in the, this is in the shade <laughs> Bubblegum Pop. The packaging is super adorable, so let me go ahead and show you that. There you go. Oh, this is super, super cute. So here is the container. It's super cute. It's like, looks like a clear, like, plastic. I'm not sure, like, what is plastic, but... A clear pink container I think it's just super fun so let me go ahead and open this and smell it and see if there is a scent and see how it glides onto the skin since this is quote-unquote a lippy scrub so I'm hoping that there is some type of consistency in there to give you that scrub feeling so that is the inside itself really smooth it should be smooth at least no one's finger is in it so until mine all right oh this is actually really really nice I was actually expecting more of like sugar 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 grains um in it you know what i mean like some lip scrubs have like that really harsh scrub and then after a while it's like oh it just irritates your lips uh-uh this one is very actually very light it does taste like bubble gum you ever get something like a lip product and it tastes exactly how it's titled and you just want to eat it that's how it feels right now i really just want to go in here and I, you know what why not <laughs> all right you guys so since i have these suckers out these are the glitter gels um this shade i'm pulling out right now this is get a grip so let me go ahead and show you exactly how this looks like so this is actually a really good size let me see what how many ounces you get in here so let me show you that see-through clear um it just says 15 grams 0 0.53 ounces hmm, okay so let me take a look as well and see if there's a scent all right let's see so i like the fact that it comes with this little safety tap okay you know what this smells like oh, really and I hated that smell. You're by like Halloween makeup and it always has like that really odd Halloween makeup smell. I don't know how to explain it, but it almost smells like kind of like plasticky. That's what this smells like right now. All right, so let me go ahead and show you the consistency of it. It is very similar to their other gel um, products. Look at this. I'm not sure if I'm showing this right, but it's like... It's kind of like moussey like so if you've never had it before it just feels like a, a gel slash mousse consistency there you go i can feel the particles of the glitter in it so let me go ahead and just watch this one for you so you can take a look oh man look at this i'm making a huge mess you guys okay all right so let me go ahead and try to close this sucker up dang that's a lot of product right there you see that all right so let's just see huh 
Whoa. Okay. That has a lot of shimmer to it. Look at this. All right, and there's still tons of product. All right, so let me go ahead into the next, I next item, the next product in here, which is also a glitter gel. I went blank what I was about to say. So, okay, so the consistency, or not the consistency, consistency, the containers are the same. The reason why this one's so different is because again, the color itself. So let me go ahead and open this one up. No, sorry, this one is Sing to, I just realized this has a little sticker on it. Huh, so yeah, it's a sticker with the actual name of the label. Interesting how they did that. Anyways, you guys, all right, so I, I opened it up, right? And this is how it came out. So I don't know if the safety cap is in here. All right, so same consistency in terms of the texture. I will get it from the top right here because clearly it's stuck in there. I'm not sure why that is. Hopefully it, it's up there. I don't know. All right, so let me go ahead and show you. Whoa, this is really nice. It really, really is. Now you do feel the actual texture of the glitter in there. So just be mindful if you don't like that feeling, you may not like these. So let me get a closer look for or close up. Let me show you closer so you can see, okay? All right, there you guys go. I swear, I'm so dramatic. Overall, they're actually really pretty. I wouldn't say that they're ugly, but they do feel, um, in a sense, kind of like wet. And I don't know if they'll dry down. I've never used their gel glitters before. Um, so yeah, I will keep this on just for a few minutes and see if it dries down. I can definitely tell you, you will have glitter on you for days because my hands, you see this? Oh, well. All right, you guys, so let's go in here and find some other goodies that are waiting to pop out to me. Ooh, okay, anyways, special. All right, so let me go ahead and just throw this box down. Bye, girl. Bye. All right, so the next two items I have in here, these are two blushes, I'm going to assume um because they're the same the size of a blush anyways you guys so we got two of them right here so two do come in the collection why well, i keep saying two over and over oh my god so this one right here is the light de delish exclamation mark and then this other shade right here is you are magnific magnifico oh my god all right so let's go ahead and take delish out so let me go and show you really quickly again the packaging is so freaking adorable look at that look at this oh my god i feel so special recording this video today anyways you guys so let me go ahead and show you here oh my god this is so cute i don't even want to open her <sighs> okay if you've ever seen the show or the movie itself, Lizzie McGuire, definitely leave a comment below. Let me know if you remember any episodes. And if so, what was your favorite one? There's so many of them. Oh my God. You guys, no scent, which is good. So look at the pattern on here. Isn't that freaking cute? Okay, so let me go ahead and swatch this. I do like the mirror actually in here. I don't want to swatch it at the same time because I love the texture. Do you see? Let me show you one more time. Come on. All right. There's some glitters in there. Super soft and buttery. Oh, wow. Look at this. Huh. Very, very pastel-y pink. So I don't know if that's going to work on my skin tone, but who's to say? It may. All right. There's good pigment. So let me show that to you right there. All right, hopefully it shows up because I'm trying to work on this lighting in here. Um, it's nice. I won't say that it's not. It really, really is. So let me go into the other um, blush right here. So again, this was in the shade You Are Magnifico. So there we go. Oh, look at this, you guys. Come on. The packaging is so freaking cute. And then it even has that embossed texture. Oh, dang it. Almost dropped the paper. All right, you guys. So then we got, why do they look the same, right? Maybe this one's a little darker. Let me show you a close up. I don't know. Let me see, let me see. Let me swatch this for you guys. So we'll go into here. Same consistency in terms of texture. Oh no, different, definitely different. Let me show you really quick. So this was the first one and then this is the second one. All right, let's see. Oh yeah definitely huge different this one actually shows a lot better on my skin tone do you see that 
Let me show you another close-up right here. Beautiful colors though. I can definitely see the glitter in there. For a blush to have glitter, I do like that because it's almost like you don't necessarily need to use a highlighter because it's almost like a highlighter and a blush in one. So that actually is pretty cool that they did that. You see that? Don't worry, it wasn't from the gel glitter before because I made sure I washed my hands before I went into this watching of these. Anyways, you guys, but yeah, actually those are really nice. All right, you guys, so the last and final product of in within the collection i'll say something else anyways you guys so this is the lizzie mcguire mcguire uh the press powder palette and there are 12 shades all together so there is the back all right you guys so let's go ahead and take this sucker out i'm about to open it the wrong way i almost went this way anyways you guys so let's go ahead and see how this sucker looks like in person all right this come on you guys the, look at this. This is so freaking cute. Obviously, it's different in terms of the palette itself. That's actually really nice that they did change it up from here into this one. So that's really pretty cool. I love, I love the texture of it. The embossment. Is that even a word? I don't know. Anyways, you guys. So let's go ahead and show you right here. So there is a protective slip. Let's go ahead and take that out. There is a mirror. I like this. I like how they did this, actually. Um, not crazy about mirrors. But in this particular palette, it is pretty cool. It's pretty cute how they set that up. Look at the shades. You see these? All right, let me cover this mirror up so you guys can see. Those are really actually fun colors. Perfect for spring and summer. Absolutely. These are really adorable. They just seem to me, they scream completely Lizzie McGuire to me. All right, you guys, so you know what? Rather than doing a swatching of this particular palette, let's go ahead and create a quick look and see how well the palette performs. I don't know about to say for a moment there, how well it performs and see if there's any pigmentation and see what we can create. So I just want to base this I just want to create something really quick, fun, nothing major. So the first shade I think I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into the one right here, this nice soft brown one, which is called Done and Done. All right, you guys. So let me go ahead and just use actually the mirror that's when the, within the palette. I don't know why I can't talk right now. So that's nothing, that's nothing special or nothing. That's nothing new. Yeah, there's nothing new about that. All right. So I'm going in there. I don't know how many times because I went in there a few different times. So I'm just going to like blot it here. And the reason why I like to blot it versus just going there with like a windshield, windshield wiper motion or a circular motion is because um, I noticed that when I do blotting first, this way I can see how well the pigment is right away. And then I can play around with it. See? Actually, I noticed that there is good pigment right away. That's actually really good. All right, so let me go ahead and play with this a little bit more. And let's just see. Again, I'm not creating any major looks. I'm not trying to like, like, bam, you guys, you see what I created? No, I just want to see how well it performs. Um, I don't see any kick up. So that's pretty good. The pigment is there. I don't see anything wrong with it, actually, in terms of that so far. So... If you notice, there is good payoff in terms of pigmentation, so it's good. All right, you guys, so the next shade I'm going to go into within this particular palette, I'm going to go into Digital Bean, which is this, why am I struggling to hold this palette? Anyways, you guys, so I'm going to go into Digital Bean, which is this purple one right here, and I'm just going to apply that directly on the outer corner of my eyes. So let's take a look. So I am just going in here very lightly. I have a tendency to have a heavy hand, and I always create more kick up than I really need to, and that's just me. So anyway, so now what I'm going to do is apply this directly in the corner, outer corner of my eyes, and just put it right into the in socket of my eye. No, that was a. I'm gonna put this right on the crease line of my eye. So here, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Hopefully, you guys are able to see it. So if you notice, I it doesn't look like I'm blotting it, but I am. I swear. So I'm just. It just looks like I'm just like going in like a motion. So as you notice right here, I'm just blotting it down, and then I am actually buffing it inward. Hopefully that makes sense. So let me show you exactly what I mean, a little bit more. So if you notice, I'm just dabbing it down and then 
working its way inwards. So if you notice, so far, I'm giving this nice dark purple on the end. So far, I am really pleasantly surprised with this particular palette. I'm noticing a good payoff in terms of pigment, and it doesn't appear to be too dark or too light. So that actually is a good thing. All right, you guys, so the next shade I'm gonna go into is the color shade Don't Freak. I hope, hopefully you guys can see it, which is this nice lime green color. It isn't technically a color that I normally gravitate, but might as well. And what I think I'm gonna end up doing is that after I get done applying Don't Freak, I'm gonna apply the shade right above that one, which is Dear Diary, right on top of the shade Don't Freak. I think that might, hopefully, I think in my head, that should come out pretty decent. So let's go ahead and try that right here. Now, so far, I'm not having any issues with the pigmentation, so, but I'm still gonna dust this off because sometimes when I'm questioning the quality of the pigmentation, I usually don't like, shake it off however you want to call it just because i want all of that pigment to really stick onto my eyelid so let's just first try it and see i got a little eyelash heels where are you coming from i don't know anyways you guys wait it came back where are you coming okay it doesn't want it don't want to go <laughs> anyways you guys so i'm just going to apply this in the inner corner of my eye and just lightly bring it over into the purple shade. Again, that shade name was Digital Bean. All right, let's go ahead and keep trying here. This is actually really pretty. Okay, so the pigment is there. Even with me shaking, dusting, kicking off the excess powder. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know, you guys. So let me go ahead and see if I don't kick it off. Hmm. That is actually really pretty. This color is really, really nice. Again, the shade that I went into is Don't Freak. All right, so what I could do, I could, let me see if this, if this will work. I'm gonna get another brush and see if I can kind of buff this outward, going upwards, and see if I can bring some of that lime green to the top. I think I could if I add a little bit more, kind of like, you know, layer it on. Does it make sense? Like pack it on right there so that there's product right there. Let's try this one more time. So you see, I got all that extra product. All right, so that's good. Let me go to the another brush that I just grabbed and see if I can just buff it upward. Yeah, actually it's there. Very minimal, but it is there. That's actually really nice. All right, let me go ahead and finesse this a little bit more. All right, you guys, so that completes the overall look with this particular palette. So off camera, I went in and just finished some little bit touch-ups here and there, applied some mascara, and then I went in and used one of the lip plumping or plumping lip glosses from the collection. I used the shade um, uh, Ethan Garth. Garth, hopefully I'm saying it right. Oh my God. So uh, this lip gloss tastes really good too. I'm not sure what's up with the products and what flavoring they use, but you just wanna like. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, so this is actually really nice. I guess, again, there's not a huge pigment in terms of the gloss itself, but that's typically how it goes with lip glosses. There really isn't in a pigment. It's just to bring out a little bit of a hint of a shape. Anyways, you guys, so that completes my overall look. What do you guys think with this particular palette? I really hope that you enjoy the little mini swatches that I did with the other few products and then giving you a quick tutorial of this particular palette. Overall, I'm in love with the collection. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this palette. And the reason for it is because the payoff was there, no patchiness whatsoever, really small, fun, festive, Great for spring, great for summer, no kick up. Um, there's slight, but not a lot. There's no fallout. So for me, A plus 100%. I am so happy that I got this particular collection. I cannot wait to use this a little bit more and try out the other shades as, as well. <laughs> I don't know what to say. All right, you guys, so I really hope that you enjoy this video using the collaboration between ColourPop Cosmetics and Disney's Lindsay McGuire. I am pleasantly surprised. Um, I'm happy I got this collection. I, it's completely fun. It's just 
you know what? That's what makeup is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about being fun. Just, you know, creating something that's enjoyable. So I really hope that you guys overall like this particular look definitely leave a comment below let me know what you guys thoughts and opinions with this overall look do you love it do you hate it if you hate it that is perfectly fine but you know what that's okay because i really enjoyed it anyways you guys if you haven't done so already why am i holding these still i don't know if you haven't done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button and while you're at it go ahead and hit that notification bell as well. So anytime, I was trying to be real slick and it fell. Anytime I upload new videos, you automatically get the notifications. But until then, make sure you all brush your teeth, wash your culo, and subscribe. I will see you all in my next video. Bye now.